In four days, the United States will lift restrictions on international travel just in time for the holidays. For months now, travelers from most countries have been banned from flying directly into the U.S. Driving across Canada or from Mexico has also been limited. But all of that is about to change. Ileana Diaz is live from Miami International to explain what this means for all of us. Good morning, Ileana. Good morning, Adrian. International travelers have been waiting for this day to come, and soon they'll be able to go back to the States either for tourism or for holiday travel for the first time since early 2020. And here's what everyone who's traveling needs to know. Starting on November 8th, international travelers will need to be fully vaccinated to enter into the U.S., and they'll have to show a negative COVID test within three days of flying, and few exceptions are being made. Now, all passengers, including U.S. citizens, will need either a paper or digital proof of vaccination. Children under 18 are exempt from vaccinations, but they will have to show a negative COVID test within a day of travel. In fact, any unvaccinated flyer will need to present a negative test taken within one day of their travel day. Now, the airlines will also begin contact tracing on all of their passengers. This means they're going to be taking names, taking numbers and addresses to contact travelers who have been exposed to COVID-19 while they've been traveling. Now, the Canadian and the Mexican borders will also be opening up. So for anyone who is fully vaccinated, they'll now be able to drive across those borders coming soon. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.